Yo, so I've gotten a lot of requests to make a basic integration video for the immersive template. I probably should have done this before the ALS video, but what can I say? I'm kind of an idiot. Well, yes and no. After integrating ALS, everything is literally cake. Anyway, we have a clean immersive template project here and a clean third person template. If you're trying this on an existing project, for the love of God, make a backup. Do not do this on your one and only file. Okay, migrate the immersive template over to the third person project and whenever I'm combining multiple projects that have animations and skeletons, I always want to delete as much as I can so that the animations are consolidated to one skeleton. So this is just a side bonus tip for working with Unreal. As long as the skeletons are exactly the same, same pose, same bone names, you can do this. If there is anything different, please be cautious. In this case, I haven't changed my skeleton aside from adding the two hand socket and oh dear God, the footstep sockets. God, these are super outdated. One thing I've noticed is that sometimes when migrating, some sockets will automatically transfer over. I don't know why some do and others don't, but yeah. Let's go to the characters folder, delete the skeleton, and select the immersive one to replace it with. Another side note, when choosing which one to delete, choose the one with the least amount of things added to it. And I'm talking about sockets and stuff. If they both have different sockets, then copy everything from one to the other and then delete one. The last thing you want to do is have to manually add the sockets all over again because you deleted the skeleton without copying them over. Okay, now open both of the character blueprints, add the immersive and dialogue component to your character, also copy the macro, then copy the inputs from my character to the default one. I have the old inputs so you can ignore them, copy this section for jump and plug it into the new jump input. Click on the character movement, set can crouch to true. Also, I'm not sure why the macro never gets pasted over, so manually reconnect it here as well. From here, you technically can just use the animation blueprint for this character and you'll be good. This is technically integrating. One thing, there's no footstep sounds and oh my god, I left a hard cast. This is bad, don't ever do this in your projects. Footsteps aren't playing on our third person character from the default project because the AN footstep notify is checking if the person triggering it is the immersive character. That's such a specific requirement and is such a bad programming practice. We want this to work with everyone, which the next update has this fixed. Instead of casting to the immersive character, delete that, get component by class, get the immersive component and plug that in everywhere. Casting to immersive character is doing this. We want this, a blank slate that applies to as many things as possible. But yeah, that's basically integrating this to a default project in a nutshell. Oh yeah, the movement component is set to use the UE4 montages by default. And when we added it to the third person character, it's using those. So you gotta manually swap them out. Again, this will be updated. Check out my next video where I show you how to integrate this with the dynamic combat system. It'll show you basically the exact steps of combining this with every other asset. That's all I got for you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.